Credo recently announced the Linear Receive Optics or LRO product uh, with our Dove 8 and we're demonstrating at the OFC uh, 2024 uh, this LRO product in uh, several customer modules. So the Linear Receive Optics is a response to the uh, demand from the industry for reducing the power and cost of full DSP solutions. Uh, while the LPO has been tried by many optical vendors and system vendors over the last year, um, there's been a lot of shortcomings that have been recognized and acknowledged. And uh, 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 what Credo came up with is a linear receive optics where we have a rechimer on the transmit pad and we still have a linear um, uh, receiver so that we can take advantage of the uh, great improved performance of the Switch 30s while at the same time addressing all the impairments on the transmitter uh, so that uh, customers can use uh, this uh, DSP read timer on the TX path and uh, uh, allow them to uh, tune the transmitter for the different kind of optics. Uh, so, so far um, in LPO solutions, the only practical um, uh, near possible solution has been with silicon photonics. With the uh, LRO solution, we've enabled customers to design modules using Vixels with silicon photonics and EMLs. And uh, also we guarantee that the uh, transmitter TP2i can be IEEE compliant. And hence we can use these modules as transceivers with full interoperability with uh, other modules that are either uh, full DSP or LRO or LPO. And uh, also allow customers to uh, freely plug the module in to different ports on uh, different kinds of switches. Uh, so we uh, greatly reduce the limitations on which application these modules can be used. So that really allows our customers to compete in a much wider uh, market in terms of different applications and different interconnects. So as part of the show, we've had many customers walk through and we've uh, shared the benefits of the LRO. And uh, there's been a great positive response and uh, uh, a lot of customers want to design uh, with our Dove 850 in their LRO solution. Primarily because we get, uh, uh, we get a power reduction uh, uh, of the way we designed our uh, LRO chip. Uh, we cut the power of the full DSP in half and also there's a, a significant cost reduction in uh, the chip. So it really addresses the primary motivation of going towards the linear optics uh, to reduce the power and cost. Uh, whereas uh, we have, uh, at the same time, we have a solution that's practical and can be deployed in mass volume and uh, can be used in a significant percentage of the current uh, DSP-based transceiver market.